Warning, this is a pest control video and contains footage of animals being shot. If this is likely to offend, then please don't watch. Please see the description below for more information on this video. There's also some links you may find useful. Hello, come back to the gun range with my little man, zero in the rifle, let him have a few shots. That's his shot there, he's not doing too bad actually is he? He's only been a couple of times. My turn now. Got a couple of shots down there, make sure the rifle is zeroed. And that lets me get out and do this. Just a couple of shots this evening from this farm. There's a small hole in the wall there, and the other side of that wall is where the straw is kept. So I think they're nesting in there and coming through to feed at the grain store. So as they stick their head through, I stick a pellet through. I initially spotted those on the thermal. You can see that little heat spot there. That's the rats pushing their way through the wall. So quickly put the night vision on and shot them in the face. That's the hole there. I sealed that back up anyway. Hiding under the pallet, I can still see you there, and I'm going to lob you a pallet. Little bunny rabbit sitting there enjoying the full moon, nice quiet evening. They're not on my quarry list, so he gets a free pass. He can just sit and chill there for a little while. Enjoy the evening. Rats, however, they are on my quarry list. Absolutely. There's a lot of glare there. That glare's from the security camera. There's a security camera up on the hill shining, sort of looking down. So the IR shining down the hill, creating a lot of glare. Now, on a previous shoot, I got a couple of rats from underneath here. So this is a big bucket with a brush or a sweeper on the front. So there's rats sticking their head out and they're hiding underneath there. Nice easy shot there. Take him down and drag him out. This is up on a rock face. Now, there's a few of them around there. There's a lot of holes and nests in there. Um, just deciding which one to go for, to be honest. Picked the nearest one. Had to take the shot freehand because I couldn't get the sticks on the ground. The ground was very muddy and slippery, so it's actually safer taking a freehand here. I got a couple of them, they ended up back down in their nests. That one fell behind the rock, fished them out, threw them in the bin. So this is a few shoots over a few nights. It's been very quiet, so I managed to get out again last night. Quick scan with a the thermal, and you can see the heat signature of the rat there, and what it looks like in night vision. So I'm looking around, make sure there is nothing else in the area. If there was more than one rat, I would try and assess which one will be the closest to take the shot first cause minimal disruption so I can get as many as I can he's about 15 yards from where I'm standing sitting there proud as punch so I'm just gonna cock the rifle I've been walking around the farm so I make sure it's unloaded as I'm doing that knock him down nice clean headshot with some GSB exact heavies over 10 grains absolutely fantastic pellets very accurate and they hit hard. See the helicopter tail, legs kicking. This is disinhibition, there's information in the description on this. If you are a regular viewer, you'll know I keep talking about this, but it just explains exactly what's happening here. That rat is dead, it's not in any pain. It's taking a nice clean headshot, and it's just kicking out. He's off to meet his maker now. Now this is a big steel tower or structure of some kind on the main pathway on the way down to the farm. There's a lot of rativity around here. So I'm just waiting for him to settle down and take a shot but 
It's as if he knows what's coming. He's bolted. He's not hanging around. He's having none of it. I'm back over by the main pathway leading down to the central yard. And this is the huge structure, the metal structure that carries the pipework for the grain. Now all that glares from the security camera. Got a really powerful infrared illuminator on it. And it's shining down onto the yard. So I think when I'm in this area, if I remember right, I didn't use the infrared illuminator on my rifle scope. It was purely from the security camera. I threw a pellet straight in there. Jammed him underneath the rocks. He wasn't going anywhere. Not a bad size. Pulled him out, threw him in the bin. Come back up the hill, where that bucket is, and the brush. And there's another rat coming out from the nest underneath. Seems to be a little hot spot this. So I let him poke his face out. And I slam a pellet in there. I thought I'd miss first. Definitely didn't. I hung on the target a little bit. You see helicopter tail, back legs kicking. And that was a nice clean headshot. I'm liking the Air Arms S510 Ultimate Sporter and GSB Exact Heavies combo. Only just started using them but they are hitting really hard and very very accurate. Very pleased with this. So th this is the area just down to the right of where that bucket was. A lot of greenery, a lot of sort of weeds and stuff down there. I did see something on the thermal. Now the problem you got with the thermal is you can pick up the heat signatures quite readily but when you try to translate that to rats in night vision it's quite difficult because you can see the rats through the foliage with the thermal but when you switch to night vision you're kind of relying on the eye shine to pick out the rats it's quite difficult to to find them in amongst long grass like this the thermal's fantastic but unless you can pick them out with the night vision you can't get a shot on them so here's one just come out of its nest poking his head up sitting on his roof having a look around enjoying the evening well he was enjoying the evening he was fine until I came along didn't look that big on the NV but when I went to pick him up he was a big chap he's been on the steroids I think not just the grain back over by the metal tower structure big metal thing support pillar whatever it's called I'm not sure but whatever it's called it's harboring rats I'll go for him on the left but he buggers off so I take it out on his friend on the top right with a nice high body shot wallop he's out he plays hide and seek a little while eventually nail him down and finish him off with a pellet. Nice headshot there. You can hear him thrashing around behind that greenery. So he's not going anywhere. In the main barn at the bottom of the yard I spot this. Now ferals are on the quarry list. I couldn't identify the bird properly in night vision with the infrared and I didn't want to take the chance on shooting a bird I shouldn't so I left that to be on the safe side. Back out on the main road, however, I spot this rat hiding here. Quickly cock the rifle, get myself steady on the shooting sticks, and I did hit him. That was an upper body shot. He's lying there on the side, and his mate comes along, tries to chew his face off, I think, or his feet. He's eating him anyway. I'll give him some dessert. There's another two in the bag. See the kicking and thrashing around there. Two dead rats. This is the huge rock just underneath that metal structure. Now, I take a shot on him. In hindsight, I think I took that a little bit too soon and I end up hitting him in the upper body but the, those heavies, I'm very confident he's going to bleed out very quickly. So he disappeared down the hole and I wasn't going to put my hand down there to pull him out. I think in hindsight I probably should have delayed that and waited a little while till he settled down. That rat 
was sitting beside one of the grain pits. Thought he was clever hiding between two rocks. I took the shot, waited a little while to see if I could see him, see what he was doing. I couldn't make out where he'd landed. So I just watch a little while, see if he pokes his head out in case it needs a follow up shot. In the end I go across and have a look and there he is there jammed underneath. Eight this evening, six bagged up. Not bad, not bad at all. If you enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe, ring that bell, make sure you don't miss future videos. Thanks very much for watching, really appreciate it.